Reef Conservation is a local marine um, environmental NGO. Um, we started up in 2004 um, and our projects were based around education and sensitization of the Mauritian public and school children. Our projects then kept evolving with our programs and we were approached to set up a marine resource centre. In 2004, when we started, um, there was definitely very much a lack of awareness of anything to do with the marine environment. So this is how we started up, by trying to protect um, coral reefs, especially the shallow reef areas, and also then looking more at sensitization for the public in general. We have set up a project um, called Voluntary Marine Conservation Areas, where we are looking at working out with communities what are viable areas to protect and what are um, important areas for the rest of the ecosystem. On uh, this part of the island, uh, we did uh, mapping, an ecosystem mapping in the lagoon and uh, we see that uh, we don't have a lot of uh, live in coral. So that's why we need to protect, because if we don't have live in coral, we will have less fish and uh, all the things uh, will uh, disappear. So all of this, it's all degraded or dead coral. So we try to implicate all the community with us and uh, not only community, hotels too. The hotels, they depend on uh, the marine ecosystems for, uh, for their tourism, for their economy. So for the hotel staff, knowing more about what is found in the lagoon is beneficial for the hotel and for the visitors. We did see quite a lot of lack of, again, knowledge and awareness from the tourism sector as to what they were showing um, tourists and the general public. Um, so we wanted to bridge that gap. We put um, a snorkeling trail in this area. So it's the uh, first snorkeling trail in Mauritius. So the snorkeling trail is about uh, 250 meters. It's a really good tool for education because uh, people can see what kind of fish we can find, what type of corals and why it's important to protect also corals. One of the end goals is to work with communities, not just to identify, but they actually become stewards of their environment, that they really learn how to manage it and be able to find solutions amongst themselves. Um, as to how to continue protecting it and ensuring that these systems are viable.